Hey guys, it's Paige at Comfort Books, and I'm so excited to be doing a video right now. Um, today, May 29th at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I went to a book signing in Concord, New Hampshire at Gibson's Bookstore, and it featured four lovely YA authors. Um, the reason I found out about this is because I was reading one of the author's books. I was reading Becoming Jin by Lori Goldstein, which you all know about if you've watched my um, readathon wrap-ups and whatnot. Um, so I was reading that, and while reading it, I was tweeting about, like, I was tweeting at her about the book and whatnot, and she informed me that they were having a signing in Concord today, and if I wanted, I could stop by and tweet the event and whatnot. So I went, and I had a phenomenal time, um, and I got all four books, and I got all four books signed, and I'm so excited to show you them. Um, I, sh I realize my mistake now. I really should have made a video because I'm not that popular on Twitter. I mean, I have over a thousand followers, but I don't have, I don't know, I don't have, I guess, the following as a lot of other book bloggers because I told them I would tweet the event for them. And, like, I tweeted the event, yeah, but I was supposed to have questions to ask them. Like, I was supposed to have people asking me questions to ask them, but nobody tweeted me any questions. It maybe was a good thing because there was a pretty good turnout and the time was ticking down and I there was not a lot of time for that many questions. But I mean, I would have liked for a couple people to tweet me questions, but that's okay. Um, I will hopefully, next time I'm going to make a video about it. So Because I know I have followers on YouTube as well as Twitter, so maybe between the two I'll get something. Uh, some tweets, so I don't know. Just in case, I'll know better for next time. But anyways, I had an awesome time anyways. I like that the authors... Um, went through and told us about themselves and then about their books and then they had their own questions for each other to answer for us to listen to. I thought that was awesome. That was pretty cool. And then they opened the floor to us and then we went to, sign, to the actual signing. So the event was about, started at 6.30, about an hour and a half. And it was awesome. So let me show you the books. Here's the bag. Um, and yes, I bought them first at Barnes & Noble. Since I work there, I get a discount. So I, I, feel, I felt so bad walking into a different bookstore with a Barnes & Noble bag, but it's like... If I'm going to get 40% off at a bookstore, and then uh, why not get them 40% off at Barnes & Noble 1? Because I'd have to pay full price at the bookstore that I was at, so why not get them 40% off and then have them signed? Why not? So, I'll just show you an order of what I pulled them out. The first book I have here is City of Savages by Lee Kelly. This is one of the authors, authors that was there. Now, actually, it's pretty weird about this book because all of these girls, all these women, are YA authors. But this book is in the science fiction slash fantasy section at my store. It's not in the teen section, which I thought was odd, even though she considers it teen. And it's funny because this book, this this hardcover, is the size of a regular teen book. Like, say, this right here, this James Patterson book, is the size of a normal adult hardcover, and this is a little smaller than it. So it's like, this is a teen book, and this is an adult book. Because usually the adult hardcovers are big, and this isn't, so I'm like, why would they, they should know automatically that this is teen. I don't know why it was classified under science fantasy, but I think it's just the setting, that's why. But anyways, that is City of Savages by Lee Kelly, and I will show you her signature. She wrote, four page, thanks for coming, plus hope you enjoy all the books, Lee Kelly. That's fair. I was so excited, and I think um, she, she had, like, little book previewers, but I forgot to grab some. So, whoops, <laughs> my bad. The next book and author was The Secrets We Keep by Trisha Lever. I think that's how you pronounce it. I hope it's how you pronounce it. And it looks like these. It's very pretty. I like when we were talking, when she was talking about the cover, I like that she said that there were buns. Because immediately when I picked up this book, I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to like it because it's about ballerinas. Before reading the book, it's not about ballerinas. It has nothing to do with ballerinas. It just has the buns on the cover. She was talking about that, how she thought it was quite funny that there was buns and there's no ballerinas in there. So I don't know. So yeah, that's that one. And I like how she signed it in silver because the pages were black, so she signed it in silver. And she wrote, Paige, always be true to yourself, Trisha Lieber. And see, that's how cool it is with the silver. And this is the cover. And then this is a little bookmark that she gave me. All of these ladies were awesome. They're very nice, by the way. Next up, I got, this is the book that I've already read, and it's Becoming Jin. You can finally see the cover instead of the just blank hardcover that I got, but this is Becoming Jin by Lori Goldstein. I loved it because my uh, my manager told me to ask her where this bracelet was from, and I didn't need to because she told us um, in one of her stories, but I think this bracelet is beautiful. You can see that there. Um, so, And I love how purple this book is, so yeah. 
so this is the author that told me about the event and whatnot, and so she signed. So the story of this book is that she had come to my store, Barnes & Noble, and signed these copies while I was working, and I missed her. I totally missed her. didn't even know she was there until after she was gone, the books were signed. So this book I had to get pre- I, it was already signed because all the copies we have at work are signed, so I told her, I'm like, it's already signed by you, but if you could just personalize it, that'd be great because it's already signed. So she wrote, in, in addition to her signature, she wrote, Paige, thank you for your support and keep writing, Lori. So this is what she did today, and then this was her signature that was already at Barnes & Noble, which I thought was cool. And this one came with a bookmark. Um, she, when she left Barnes & Noble, it came with a bookmark, which is uh, right here. So yes, and oh, also, she had, at the signing, she also had little chapter samplers, but I didn't grab one, because I've already read the book, but I did get this silver bracelet right here, that is Becoming Gin, and I love it, because it's silver and gold, I love it, and it's so funny, because my boyfriend got one, too, he was like, when I went out to grab one, he was like, oh, get two, and I was like, really? And he was like, yeah, I love those kind of bracelets, so I got them one. And last but not least, we have In a World Just Right by Jen Brooks. That's what that looks like. It's about a boy who can, who he's not very happy with the world he lives in now, so he can, he has the ability to make up um, different worlds and whatnot, so I thought that was really cool. Came with a bookmark that I bent a little bit, but that's okay. Sat. And then she wrote, to Paige, I hope you enjoy Jonathan's journey, heart, Jen Brooks. And that, I love the pink, that's so cute. Um, so yeah, I had an awesome time at the signing. I'm glad I was able to do I was so I was like, oh my god, I don't have any books this week. I'm not gonna be able to do a book haul, book haul. But then I remembered I'm going to a book signing, so of course I can do a book haul because I have all these books now. So yeah, I'm excited. I was very happy about that event. Um I stay tuned on the blog because I have an interview coming with all four of these ladies. Um I sent them the questions uh probably about thirty minutes ago, so hopefully they'll get back to me soon and I'll be able to put the interview up because it's gonna be a good one. Stay tuned for that, and thanks for watching. Have a good night, guys. Bye.